Hi again, here we are to continue talking about the uh, Knob Hill Gazette WordPress theme. And, um, you know, I've kind of roughed in my header there. And now what I want to do is I want to head into the, uh, the, the um, main area here of the home page. And again, looking at my, my wireframe here, you can see I've got this and I've got this thing in here. And now what I want to do is I want to put a big image here, okay? In my grid, um, I'm using the unsemantic grid. This image will take up the full width of the page and it'll be uh, 1180 pixels across. And then I think I want it to be about 600 tall. So it's gonna be about, you know, two to one, right? So it'll be 590 tall and 1180 wide. And, you know, I have a bunch of images in WordPress, but I want to make sure that WordPress sizes the images to the sizes where I want to use them. And then I also want to be able to assign an image to a post, right? So let's tackle those problems here, okay? So going into the, uh, the admin panel, if I go to my pages here and I find the home page, which is this one, and I edit it, I'll click on it there, there's my home page. And what I want to do is um, down here at the bottom in the on the right side, there's a box that says featured image, right? And the featured image is set up in functions PHP. Okay, so it's a special feature and we need to have this little block of code here. I'm gonna get edit functions PHP right now. And what you'll see is in the functions PHP for this theme, I have a line of code here called add, or that says add theme support post thumbnails, okay? So when you have this in your functions PHP, WordPress will show you the featured image box. If you don't see the featured image box, then that line of code is missing from functions PHP. Okay, so what does this do? Well, it allows you to add an image to a post or really tag an image in a post as the, the image that represents that post, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on, I've already imported some images and if you haven't, you can click on add media here and you can load up some images or you can do it here even. Um, I'm gonna click set featured image and then I have an image, it's this one, right? And what I want to do is I want to use that as the featured image, right? So I'll do set featured image and then you can see it here now, okay? And, uh, you know, if I update my post and go to the site, you'll see I've got this, this giant Im image. Okay, so it's super big, right? Um, so I need an image here that is going to be the correct size. Now, the reason the image is showing up at all is because in my homepage template here, right? I have, um, you know, this is all the code for the homepage here. This is my, um, you know, it says get header. That's where we import the header. And then here where it says if have posts, while have posts, this is the loop. And um, this is the content for the loop. And one of the things I have here is I have this div here that says class cover image, and then it says the post thumbnail. So this tag says go and get a thumbnail image and display it here. So really, you know, it says thumbnail, but this is really the same thing as the featured image that we just set. So when you set a featured image, you can pull up that featured image by saying the post thumbnail, okay? Now, what you need to understand for this part is that WordPress stores all of the images that you upload at several sizes, okay? And you can pull up any size image, you know, that, that WordPress is storing. And we can check that under Settings Media, okay? So in Settings Media, you can see I have a thumbnail size of 150 by 150, a medium size of 600 by 300, and a large size of 1024 by 1024. Now, these images, you know, if you have, if you upload an image that's smaller than these sizes, then you won't have one at the larger size, okay? The 150 by 150 crops the image to exactly 150 by 150. These other ones will size the image to the maximum dimension, okay? So if your image is, you know, 
only you know 600 by 200 tall then the medium size for that image will be 600 by 200 okay it won't scale it up to 300 right um, you know that would make it out of proportion right so so this is okay and you can change the values here right to get images of different sizes but but these are just the, the three sizes that you get and then you also get the original size and that's actually what I'm seeing here this is the original image it's much larger than 1024 right um, let's experiment with that for a moment right so if I if I go in here and and I inside the parentheses here for the post thumbnail so I'm editing home page again so I'm back at home page and I'm looking where it says you know div cover image class cover image and then it says the post thumbnail inside the parentheses here if you type in thumbnail what you'll be doing is you'll be telling WordPress to display an image. Let me save that, right? You're telling WordPress to display um, the image at this size here of 150 by 150. Or if you change this to some other numbers, you'd be, you'd be using those numbers, right? Okay. So if I go to my page now and I refresh, you can see there's my 150 by 150 image, right? because I said thumbnail. So now if I type in medium, right, so I'll change that from thumbnail to medium, then when I refresh here, now I get the, any moment now, sometimes it takes a minute to refresh that. Let me make sure I save this, right? Oh, there, now I get the medium image, right? And then if I wanted the large image, you know, if I save, and then refresh here a few times. Any moment now, maybe I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Now I get the large image, right? Okay, but actually none of these images are really the size that I want. The size I want is 1180 by 590. And then I want it exactly 1180 by 590. So using the options here under settings media I really have a hard time getting that image to show up at that size because these medium and large sizes don't have a cropping option right so I'd be reliant that my image that I uploaded had the correct proportions and then if I use the thumbnail size which does crop then I don't I can't crop to a smaller size also right so the re the way to get around this is to um, is to add some new sizes to this list and you can add as many sizes as you want you can do them all through code in in functions PHP but uh, probably the easiest way to do this is with a plugin so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the plugins here and go to add new plugins add new and the plugin that I want to get is called simple image sizes so I'll search for simple image sizes and you can see it here simple image sizes and I'll click install now and so it'll take a moment here Oh, looks like it's installing, successfully installed. I'll click Activate. And now you can see I've got the Simple Image Sizes plugin. And the settings for this plugin are under Settings Media. So now when you go back to Settings Media, you'll see that there's some extra options here. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to add a new size. Okay? So I'm going to change the size here. I'm going to call this like Home uh, Banner. Okay, so that'll be the home banner image. And then what you'll do is you'll click the validate image size and name, and then you can type in maximum width, and I'll make mine 1180. Maximum height will be 590. And then the public name will be home banner. And I'm going to say, yeah, let's, yes, let's crop this image. And there's a few cropping options. I'm just going to choose the yes. I think that crops on the center. And then I'll say, yes, show that in post insertion in case we want to use it in a post. And so once I've changed these settings here, I need to click the validate button. And then if it turns green, we know that it, it worked, okay? So now we have this size. Now the thing is, if we use this size, what we're going to do is we're going to use this um, home banner name that I created here. Don't use size in front of it. I, it's kind of a mistake that it's showing size in front of the name there, but uh, I named it home banner, right? 
So we're going to use that size to bring up the image at this size. The problem, though, is that since I already uploaded the image, um, I've added a new size, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you know the original image was resized to, to these numbers, right? So simple image sizes understands that, and it actually supplies an extra option down here at the bottom called regenerate thumbnails. So anytime you add a new size or edit one of the sizes here, what you'll want to do is you'll want to regenerate all of the thumbnail images in your database to, to reflect the new sizes, right? So I'll click the Regenerate Thumbnails button. And then it's going to work through all the images in, in my site that I've uploaded and resize them to the new size that I've included of Home Banner. Okay? So we got that. And then I'll just save changes here to make sure that it remembers the changes that I made. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our, our home page um, dot PHP file and over here where it says the post thumbnail what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the size here to home banner because that's the custom size that we created right and I wanna grab the image at that size which should be 1180 by 590 okay so I'll save that and then I'll go back to my site and uh, view the site oh great so now that's the image at exactly the size that I want okay so hopefully that's useful to you guys, and um, we'll, we'll go use this for a few other features too in the future, and then we're, we'll finish working on the homepage in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching.